motorbike with all-wheel drive is a bit of a unicorn, unless you're Steve Cristini, who has been creating them for over two decades. Beginning with kit conversions for Honda and KTM motorcycles, he started creating his own motorbike in two-stroke and four-stroke variants in 2002, in partnership with an Asian motorcycle production business and gas gas for the two-stroke engines. Adding drive to the front of a dirt bike is not an easy task. Most of the Cristini system is covered by patents that make copying difficult, if not impossible. Cristini perfected the art of transferring power while avoiding considerable torque steer. All-wheel drive dirt bike is a game changer or a complex hassle. In this video, we'll explore the pros and cons of this unique feature and help you decide if it's right for you. Just as these two are getting to know each other, another racer blows by them both. Unbelievable! It's American Jeff Aaron who started from the second row. Jeff is making good use of his all-wheel drive Cristini and has now launched himself into podium contention. Jeff has surged into podium contention by making effective use of his all-wheel drive dirt bike. Jeff said his Cristini KTM is a hidden weapon. This groundbreaking bike is receiving its first chance to compete on the international scene. The Cristini all-wheel drive is a mechanical design that activates and begins to drive front wheel when the rear wheel loses traction and spins. The bikes are incredibly interesting since you can stop and start where everyone else would simply dig a hole and got stuck. You must be curious about how this works, so let me explain everything to you. We transfer rotation from the engine to the system by using the second chain, which is attached to the gearbox's main shaft. The drive shaft transmits rotational power from the gearbox to the steering head. A slipper clutch protects the system from overloading. The rotational power is separated using a unique head tube with small gears with it. The power is then transferred to a triple clamp via two small driving shafts. The two front drive shafts transmit rotational power to front hub. The hub is equipped with a clutch, allowing the wheel to only transmit power when necessary. What are the advantages of the Cristini all-wheel drive system? The key advantage of an all-wheel drive mechanical system is that it requires very little power to operate. The only additional drag on the motor is the power required to spin the system's shafts and gears. The entire mechanical system functions similarly to traction control. When the rear wheel begins to spin, the power loss due to wheel spin is transferred to the front wheel. As power is transferred to the front wheel, it becomes simpler for the rear wheel to acquire traction, allowing the rear to reclaim grip and propel the bike ahead. The front then releases, and you're back in just rear-wheel drive. When you ride the Cristini, you'll be surprised at how easy it is to find traction and how much energy you save compared to a standard motorcycle. The whole system is simple to manage using ordinary tools that you already have in your toolbox. Cristini technology is unusual in that it is entirely mechanical, with no hydraulic pumps, what makes it simple to fix and maintain in excellent condition. Yeah, it's pulling a little bit.
Is it more difficult to ride this dirt bike than a regular one? Certainly not. The riding all-wheel drive is surprisingly easy. The benefits of the all-wheel drive system become apparent almost immediately. It does not need any changes in your driving style. You will gradually learn how to maximize the positive effects of the system. While the learning curve is very shallow, it is also long. That means the more you ride, the more you will be able to take advantage of the system. The only downside to this system is that it adds weight to your dirt bike. The weight of the system is about 6 kilograms, which is not that much if we go back and see what parts he had to add to the dirt bike to make all-wheel drive. And I must also emphasize that for some drivers this seems like a very good thing, while for others it is strange to drive. I think it's all a matter of habit and it takes time to get used to it. Do you need really all-wheel drive on dirt bike? And is this for you? That is a good question and now we will try to find the answers. Riders at higher levels must be significantly more conscious of their balance, so for them it's harder to ride this bike in corners. Hobby riders appear to feel no different to normal dirt bike, and just react more in line with the Cristini rather than needing to break negative habits. The system has been criticized for adding complexity and weight to a motorcycle, which it does, but you have to be prepared for that if you want your dirt bike to have all-wheel drive. The Cristini truly shines in low traction situations. Whether in sand, mud, or snow, the bike gets up and travels immediately. The Cristini 300 two-stroke is the race-proven machine in the Cristini lineup. It is able to tackle the tightest trails and most rugged terrain that Mother Nature can throw at you. It's using gas gas motor. The bike is tailored to handle torturous conditions and gnarly terrain. The bike features the powerful gas gas 300 engine, white power forks, a full FMF exhaust system, the bike ready for the trails. More traction, more stability and more control, more fun.